Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Jermaine from That Christian Fam, aka The King's Realm, and today we're gonna talk about narcissism versus Christianity. That and more after the bumper. Thanks for joining us on That Christian Fam. This is our first installment of four. This is a four part series of Narcissism 101. In the first installment we're gonna address in part one is narcissism versus Christianity. I know some of y'all out there like, what is narcissism? Honestly, a lot of us are narcissism. We don't even know it. So let's go ahead and dive into the definition. I told y'all I'm not a journalist, but y'all know what's up. So narcissism, it says selfishness involving a sense of entitlement a lack of empathy and a need of admiration as characterizing a personality type. So let's dive inside the mind of a narcissist. Within their minds, they're a high priority and they become infatuated with knowing how the world can be a benefit to them. They also like to figure out what can be gained from others to make them feel good and more importantly, look good. Christians view themselves as yes, a priority, but they're also concerned about others and how they can be a benefit to them. They look forward to giving and serving outside of themselves and not to self. When it comes to culture and change, a narcissist says, this is the way I do it, this is the way I grew up doing it, and therefore this is the best way to do it. A Christian says, listen, this is the way I do it, this is the way I grew up doing it, however, I'm open to hearing the way you do it because the way you do it might be better. The beautiful thing about this is that it models humility, which was the example that Jesus set when he came here on his earth ministry and the thing that is so dope about God to me is that he does not present change as an option but he demands it as a requirement for example look at John 3 3 Jesus said truly truly I say unto you except the man be born again he cannot enter the kingdom of God again invoking change because we were born in sin now we have to be born in the spirit what confirms to me that this spirit is not of God but of the devil is that it mimics everything that Satan said in heaven before he was booted out. Isaiah 12, 14 through 17 depicts the dissension of Satan from heaven and if you notice he's infatuated with himself. He kept saying things like, I will ascend to heaven, I will exalt my throne, or I will sit on the mount, or I will ascend above the heavens, or I will be like the most high. Now notice he kept saying I, and what is the middle letter in the word pride? Just food for thought. So that brings us to the question, can a Christian be a narcissist? Anything's possible. Anything's possible. <laughs> Don't believe that dude. I'm a Lakers fan anyways. But no, y'all, in all seriousness, in a nutshell, no. A narcissist cannot be a born again Christian. Go back to the definition of narcissist. They are self-absorbed, self-centered, and selfish. And therefore, they don't need God because they view themselves as God. Being that we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, we all have the tendency to have narcissistic moments when we walk in the flesh and not in the spirit. However, there's a big difference between having a moment in it, feeling remorseful about it and repenting of it versus living in it. Y'all, we just getting started. This is part one of a four part series of Narcissism 101. In the next video, we're gonna be dealing with relationships and how to know if the person you're dealing with is a narcissist. Y'all, I hope this helps somebody on the other side of that video. If you offend it, I really don't care. This is Jermaine from That Christian Fam, AKA The King's Realm, where we shape our worldview around God's reality. I'm out. A lot of rap is overrated. Hey. Homie, that's an understatement. No, no. I grew up on that. Yeah. Tigger in the basement. Yeah.